Good morning, friends. Today, this morning, I am working on installing or setting up uh, some irrigation for our market garden area and the greenhouse. So let's get started. Since we don't yet have water, um, except for the the uh, rain catchment system set up for our market garden stuff right now, um, I'm running a, a hose from the back of our house to add water out there. First thing I did was install this Boogie Blue Plus. This is an uh, installed filter to remove chlorine and other contaminants out of the city water supply. And for right now, I'm just going to run this water hose all the way out to the gate and the fence over here. And I'm going to adapt it eventually once I get all this figured out. I'm going to adapt it to run off of the uh, the uh, rain catchment, the 650 gallon tank there. But for right now, we're gonna use the drip irrigation. And I've got some of the parts and things laid out here. And the drip tape, for the first run through the greenhouse setup right there. So gonna get busy setting all those parts up and see how it goes. All right guys, it's about one o'clock. Took me just a few hours to put in the at least part gets a good start on the irrigation system for the market garden. So uh, let me show you some of the parts and, that I used and how far I've gotten. One of the things that I ordered was a kit. Uh, they come with 300 feet from Drip Depot. Got it off of Amazon. And this particular one came with drip tape with 12 inch spacings on the, on the, uh, admit, uh, the, the little valves that emit the water. And the kit came with all of the all of the parts and all of the fittings that I needed for 300 feet of drip tape. And I bought an extra thousand foot roll of drip tape with the emitters uh, emitters about six inches apart. The other thing I needed, uh, this actually came with the kit, and I had some already, so I didn't open this. But this is the the main line tubing, it's half inch irrigation line, uh, very flexible and easy to use. So what I've done is right up here, I've put in a quick connect so I can disconnect that and put it on our water hose. I've put in a filter and a regulator and then I teed it to go down these down here. It's got another tee with a valve so I can water these berries after we get, uh, get those cleared, cleared away where I can run the line. But then down both sides of the main of the main walkway and workway, I ran two main lines. So every every so often, I put in a, a little water valve, and if I change directions, I put in water valves so that I can turn water on and off to different sections. But here in the greenhouse, I have put this together, and it's running right now. And you can see coming out of the emitters, the little groups of water coming out of those. So those are doing really well. So we've got these basically three rows of trellis tomatoes in here that these are getting watered by that. And then this main line is turned off right now down the rest of this side. So, but these over here on where the tomatoes are, I have run the drip irrigation or the drip tape down each one of these lines watering the tomatoes right now. Um, these fittings and everything where they go into the main line and then it goes into the this is the, the drip tape These fittings work really well. They're really easy to to use and uh, Have a hole punch tool that punches the hole in the main line and then these just snap in So I just ran that water line all the way down each one of these rows of tomatoes um, And I got them down here also on the pepper plants and I am one row short getting the, the pepper plants watered. So I'm either going to order another kit or I've got some errands to run today. I may see if I can find some of these locally, some of the parts. But um, so far, it's working really good and I like it. And um, that will make it easy to water all of this without having to drag hoses around. And eventually, I'm going to set this up so that it's on a timer and I won't have to worry about the, the turning it on and off. But for right now, I'm just going to turn the valves on and off and water is needed until I get another timer to install in line right here. So, I hope you found that helpful and useful. I know I will um, enjoy not having to bring hoses up and down all those lines and it should make the watering much more efficient and effective. 
So uh, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on using that uh, drip tape, uh, please let me know. Thanks. Have a good day.